Hey, welcome to Clarinet HQ. Uh, so today I want to talk about voicing. Voicing is basically um, using your tongue position and air to tell the clarinet what notes to play. Because with one fingering, you can play multiple notes. So I'm going to, you know, with a low C fingering. <laughs> Right, and that was no, no adding the register key, nothing. That was just using my tongue position uh, to tell the clarinet what notes to play. And if you're not sure what I mean by tongue position, go to the Clarinet HQ YouTube page. Meredith did a fantastic video on tongue position. Uh, so there are a couple ways you can use voicing to become a, clarinet, a better clarinetist. Uh, one, start on a C above the staff. And as you're holding out that C, take the register key off. And you should be able to maintain that note. If you don't, if you get an undertone, a lower note, something like that, that means your airspeed isn't fast enough and it probably means your tongue isn't high enough. If you can maintain that C, then the next step is play down a C major scale without a register key. And the goal is to see how far down you can get while maintaining that, that higher partial. Uh, be careful not to bite. The cheater's way to do it is to just like chomp down on the reed. And you'll get the right pitches, but you'll also be really sharp and you'll play with a horrible pinch tone. So doing it correctly is more important than just doing it. Uh, the other way that voicing can really help you become a better clarinetist is if you have, um, you're working on a piece of music, let's say where you have to jump into a, a higher register and it's just not working for you. Um, so for an example, I'm going to use the end of the first movement of Gerald Finzi's Five Bagatelles. If you don't know the piece, check it out. Great piece. Um, but a lot of my students struggle with this and they'll either, um, not really be supported, have a low tongue position, and either get a flat note or sometimes an undertone. You know, and, and it just, it doesn't sound great. It's spread, it's flat, or, you know, they'll be biting or something and, and they'll go too high and they'll squawk. Um, so a way you can kind of use voicing to help you with something like that is try playing it without the register key. So no register key, and when I go up to the high D, I am not going to lift up my first finger. And you'll notice I played it slower to give me time to kind of focus on what I'm doing, making sure I'm not biting, making sure I have my high tongue position, And if I can do it without the register key, without lifting up my first finger, I know I'm voicing correctly. I'm telling my clarinet the correct things to do. Then when I add the register key and I lift up my first finger on the high D, it's just gonna help those notes come out. Uh, so those are two ways you can use voicing to help you become a better clarinetist, help your tone, help your intonation. Uh, so try these out for yourself. Uh, if you have run into any issues, have questions, please let us know at Clarinet HQ. We're always happy to help. So happy practicing.